the Republican Party of Texas should be the best funded, most sophisticated, most professional state party in the country, period. Condemning the Republican Party of Texas for its weak financial position and ineffective leadership at the legislature, Travis County GOP Chair Matt McCoviak says change at the state level cannot wait any longer. When you combine that with uh, the fact that we're facing the most consequential presidential election in my lifetime with five months to go, the status quo is just totally unacceptable. He's the latest of six vying to replace outgoing state chair Matt Rinaldi during the state convention, which kicks off Thursday. But he says the buck doesn't stop with Rinaldi. The financial situation at the state party uh, is, is, is an epic disaster. Uh, and everyone involved is responsible. Former Harris County Republican chair and longtime party insider Paul Simpson says he's never seen such a crowded field of state chair candidates in his 40 years of party politics. I think there it may be a sign that, a, that there's a broader recognition that the state party needs to do something different. It may speak to a divide between the moderate and more far right wing of the party, which can also be seen in next week's primary runoff election between Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan and David Covey. What concerns Simpson most is how the state party has seemed to devolve to Republicans attacking Republicans, with some advocating to close off the primaries to those not registered within the party. I think it's a danger to close the party off. Uh, and that's another thing I'm, I'm, I'm opposed to is the idea of a closed primary because it keeps the party from, from growing. While Makoviak hopes to bring about that change. And I'm confident we're going to be able to do that by building an extraordinary team, by rallying together, by unifying people from across the spectrum so that Republicans can work together after what has been a very divisive primary and primary runoff. Simpson remains fairly optimistic about the future of the party. You know, after we after these runoffs are over, uh, we'll see a good, strong Republican showing in the fall in the state. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.